Hi, I'm Megan Walker and welcome to the letter Y in the A to Z of real-time marketing and Y is all about your assets library. Okay, so this one you might think, eh, okay, it's fine, I've already got my assets, my images and so on, I've already got those set up. But once you start looking at using real-time marketing, you realize it's not as simple as that. So let's take a look and see what you need to do or be aware of. Okay, so I'm in the real-time marketing area and I'm gonna go into the library, which is under the assets section. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to look and I can see all of my assets. Um, I can also see them broken out by images, um, if I've got any videos, and then also if I've got any other types of documents. So that's fine, but I know that I've got more images than that. So if I go into outbound marketing, and if I scroll down, and I go into the files area, which is the outbound area for images, we can see that I've got all of these other images. So if I just click on one of them, I can say copy to real-time marketing. So I can do one image and then it tells me, okay, you want to copy one image file to, or one file to real-time marketing. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy files. Now, that's fine, that's just one. If I go ahead and I deselect that, I then have a button that says copy all files. So I can go ahead and I can say, I want to just copy everything and I can move everything over. Um, so it also says in case of duplicated names. So there's some of these that I've already moved. So that's good. That means we're not going to be um, uh, overwritten. So, but I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and copy these. I've not actually done this yet. So let's see. So I'm going to copy files and that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, we can see that it says what's complete 3%. So that could take a, take a while. So let's go back into real time marketing. Let's go back into the library. Um, so there's the one that I'd selected previously, so that's good, that's done. And it also shows up here, copying files from outbound marketing. So we can see what's going on, we know that this is actually running a process and we'll start moving things over. <clears throat> Excuse me, so a couple of things to be aware of. So as with a lot of things with marketing, they're changing very, very quickly. So this may even change by the time um, somebody's watching this. But if I click on one of these, I can go into it. Actually, let's go back for a second. So if I've got this selected, we have this button that the minute it says replace binary, which is a little bit confusing, all that means is replace the file. So if you have a file that has been uploaded, it has all of these things, it has tags, it has a URL that's been generated for it, that kind of thing. If I just want to replace the image, but I don't want to replace everything around it, and maybe I don't want it to be removed from, from um, places, I can just click replace binary, and what this allows me to do is then browse out and say, well, actually, it's this file that I want to use instead, and I can go ahead and I can replace the image piece of it, but actually everything else stays the same. So it's the same tags, the same URL. That's a really, really good thing. All right, so then if I click on it, I can go into an image. I can see that there's a public URL, there's a, a, a link to it, so I can open it up and I can access it. Now, at this moment in time, the way in which I can use images in emails is exactly the same way as it is in outbound marketing, okay? So I can do that and I can browse out and find an image. What I'm really looking forward to is when they've done something with documents because at the minute I can't browse out and add a document. I've got a URL to it so I could upload it, copy the URL and then put that into an email but I don't have a way to dynamically pull something in yet. So fingers crossed, that's what I'm hoping for, but not right now, if that makes sense. Okay, so if I go ahead and let's just refresh this. Now we can see I've got all of my images that have been brought over, so that's fantastic. Doesn't look like I've got anything duplicated, so that's again a really good thing. So I've got all of my files now from Outbound Marketing and I've been able to copy them over and move them into real-time marketing. So that is a big time saver, because at first you're like, oh no, I've got everything over here, 
and then you'd have to re-upload it again, which is a pain. So uploading is really easy. If I go ahead and I say I want to upload media items, I can go ahead and I can do that, and I can just uh, let's pick um, let's pick something. Oh, that's my lovely dog. Let's go ahead and import him. <laughs> so what that does is it basically says, okay, well here's the name of the file, and it uses all of this. So I'm going to call this Oscar, and my alt text can be um, fluffy handsome golden retriever and then um, image of a dog smiling in a field and then I can also remove that tag because the tag that it applies to it is the name of the file which I'm never going to go ahead and use that tag so I could say dog um, dog uh, golden retriever, pets, animal, whatever. So those tags are going to help somebody else or me when I come back and I need to actually search for this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to upload it. So using the tags is helpful so that you can come back and search for things. So that's great, so there he is. And we can see there, dog, golden retriever, pets, animal. Um, so we can see all of that good information. We can also upload a folder. So if I go back into my logos, I could say, oh, actually, let's go ahead and do banners. So I can go ahead and I can upload that. Um, let's do that. And it shows that it is uploading. So that's good. So the, it's, it feels a, a lot more robust. It feels like they're certainly improving things in terms of how the images or the asset library works. Um, but again, just remember you need to, if you want to use stuff from outbound marketing, you're gonna have to go ahead and move all of that information across. So that's it for this one. Let me know what you think. Have you started using this area? Did you know that you can copy stuff over from Outbound Marketing? Because that's a relatively new thing, which is good. Um, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.